Tom Hogan, let's talk about the results first. Uh, you're into the All Ireland final. That's the important bit. Well, the aim was to get to the final, and, and we got there. I know we won fairly comprehensively in the end, but um, you know we played against strong in the first half, and we were under a lot of pressure for a long time. We got a goal lucky enough, and we got a bit of a cushion at half time. But as, as you saw yourself, they came back into it in the second half, and they brought it back to about seven or eight points there. And we, we lucky enough, we went on again and got a point, a goal to, to kind of seal it really in the end. And the performance, surely at least in the first half as a coach, you must have been delighted. Right, look at it. Any time you go out, all we ask for is a performance. We don't ask, but we don't even talk about winning or losing a match to perform. If you perform to the best of our ability, we have a good chance. That's our attitude the whole time, you know. Your reaction to getting through to an All Ireland final? Yes, I'm buzzing now. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, Ten more in the final, and should sure they're a really good side, so we have to be up for it now. We have to get our minds focused, you know, physically all right for next week. So let's see where it takes us. And how do you think today's game will prepare you for that? Was that a 9 out of 10 performance all over? Ah, uh, sure, we, we made a few mistakes there, you know, they got on top of us there in the first half and started the second half, so we have to look at that and see where we went wrong in that period, so we have a, a look anyway, so. And the first half, what marks out of ten? Look at that, excellent. I have to say, we played against us. We played. We played with the wind, but but look at we. You know, we took the game to the opposition, and um, I think we got a sufficient lead to, to you know to give us a bit of a cushion at half time. Yeah, you were well ahead, and you were strong all over the field. You dominated most of the game. The but most pleasing thing, I suppose, really was that we did dominate in a lot of positions, and we didn't get it, let them get into the game. You know, they had some very good hurlers, and um, our lads worked very hard to, to to keep them out of the game. But you always need people to take the scores, and you had Adrian Mullen there who couldn't miss. Well, look at look at he's an exceptional player, and look, we're very lucky to have him, and you know, long may continue. <laughs> You're going to keep his feet on the ground. Well, certainly, I know he's a very level-headed man. No, no, there's no problem with that. He's he's very level-headed. You know, his hurling is his passion, and um, hopefully he'll be. We'll see him for a long time to come with Kilkenny. Going back to the first half, your goal, the only goal in the first half that was obviously important. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, the end result probably wasn't as important as we thought it'd be, but. Uh, you know, at that time we kind of needed something, so you know, thankfully it was a Ted Ray giving me out the ball. And sure, I had nothing to do, only to put it in the back of the net. So, you know. when they came back at you in the second half, you stepped up through the gears. You got two goals, and you got the second one. Yeah, sure. Kiran, young Kiran there, he's only still has a few more years left at this stage, so he produced a bit of magic there in the for his goal. And sure, the lads popped over a few points and all, so just happy out with that now. When you say young Kieran, I mean you're pretty young yourself, but I know what you mean. This is a new team. Yeah, it's, this is a brand new team now from last year. So, uh, you know, we have to forget about last year. You know, we won that. We forget about that. It's all about this year and next weekend. So, I know you don't want to talk about yourself too much, but your second goal, the last goal, it looked pretty special. Was that the pick of your scores? Jeez, I don't know. I, know. I can't even remember it really. So, <laughs> <laughs> came in from the right and you hit it in the top <laughs> corner and it came out. Uh, sure enough, because I was the pass anyway. So he. Set me up on a plate, so I just took it anyway. And what does it mean for the school to be back in the All Ireland final? Great. This is a new group. People forget that it's a new group. Adrian and and um, Martin Keown, who's playing centre back, they were the only two survivors from last year. So apart from that, we have a brand new team. So it's a new experience, a new thing. So you know, regardless of the teams that went before, this 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 is a new team. This is 2017, a new a new experience, and for them, it's totally new and fresh. Uh, sure, everyone has their own job, really, and sure, I suppose as a forward, mine is to get scores. So that's all I go to do. So. And sure, the backs they put in some serious uh, performances there. You know, Massey, centre back, he put in some blocks, and Tommy Roy, everyone, Mike Carey, they all played brilliant. So. And finally, getting through to an All Ireland final, looking ahead to that big day, what does that mean to you? You've obviously been there before. Uh, sure, any any young lad dreams of playing the college All Ireland. You know, so thankfully for our school, the last three or four years we're in it, so we just see where it takes us now next week, and hopefully we'll bring it back to here. And so. Temple more and make it for a good final. Oh, she's it or they're deadly now and all. <laughs> she's sure they they hammered uh, whoever they played in the Hartico final, so they put them in a serious uh you know we it'll be a tough game anyway, so looking forward to it.